<coughs> okay let's look at some of the examples to create uh, uh, simple charts uh, for value at risk now I'll talk about a few uh, <coughs> basic things here in the meantime I'll talk about uh, what MATLAB is doing at the back end so the first part here is that uh, you can define the variables in MATLAB uh, right away so for calculating those graphs, you need to first uh, find out the uh, x-axis and the y-axis grid let me show you what I mean by that so in MATLAB you need to give it the points that you want to calculate the graph for so if you want to have some x-axis graph then you have to give the number of points here if these points are 100 or 1000 or or whatever these points are so our first step would be create that grid that is the x uh, all those points on the x-axis now for all those point on the x-axis you will have a point on the y-axis so the your point on the x-axis is a is a is a lot many points and for each of these x you have a point on the y-axis so this line calculates all those points equivalent points on the y-axis for you and this is in fact the normal density so we'll use norm pdf this is a function if you were to find out what this function does all you have to do is just search it on the MATLAB help and you will land it on the MATLAB help so you need to give x mu and sigma and it will use the normal distribution an example here so <coughs> you will have a uh, a lot of things you can ignore the right part and still get those numbers so x is the standard normal then x uh, sigma plus u is the uh, is also normal will mean me and standard deviation u so if you write norm pdf x you will use the normal standard deviation of uh, mean 0 and standard deviation 1 so in this point you will get all corresponding point the next here is the calculation of expected shortfall where you will go to the point and find out what is the value if uh, you breaches your bar limit so that is again calculated uh, using uh, mu minus sigma into norm pdf now uh, you'll use two functions here you'll use the norm pdf and norm inverse let me try to bring them onto a powerpoint so first thing is you need to understand how grids for x and their corresponding y works the next is uh, you need to find out about two functions here norm pdf and norm inverse because you will be moving back and forth between them so these are the only two functions that you will be moving back and forth other than that all functions are actually defined by you so read about these function and you will uh, understand that uh, one is calculating the uh, area under curve and other is uh, actually that point so var analytical normal number of points is 100 uh, step is the step in which you will break these points if you uh, look at uh, the variables that we have defined uh, we'll first uh, take step as max of y upon n points so we are taking a hundred points and these are the steps so uh, you have all those point in the x but uh, you are now calculating that step so that you can uh, still point out uh, those things on the chart and from here you have uh, the chart thing that starts on uh, so you have defined the step 
that you are going to use in the chart and when you execute the entire code uh, you will get something like this this is your expected shortfall and this is your value at risk for that number uh, if you observe this chart this is a standard normal chart with zero mean and uh, but the, uh, the standard deviation is uh, not uh, one let me check no the standard deviation is one right so this is still a standard uh, normal distribution now later with points you can play around and get to the points that you are looking for so uh, you don't need to know much you just need to understand how uh, the charts are being broken and the next thing that you need to understand is just two function that uh, where you play around with uh, uh, the norm PDF and the norm inverse where you can move back and forth to compute density and the Z value so uh, it's a, it's a movement between uh, this area under curve and this value uh, on the x-axis that you have to convert and for that you need just these two functions so this was a very simple uh, example upon uh, by war you just need to understand the few things here and plot command so only three new things here for you to understand this one thank you for listening i hope this added something new